Today in Critics Talk, we talk in D23, Disney's Expo, all announcements. The Matrix is making a comeback. And did Sony and Disney break up? Stay tuned. Welcome to Critics Talk. I am one of your hosts, Migs, alongside the one and only Cleb. How you doing, Cleb? I'm doing excellent. Ooh, yeah, excellent. that's right. New excellent. week, yeah. new episode of Critics <clears throat> Talk. We here for the critics, baby. That's we right. Are. We here to talk about all of the announcements out of this crazy expo, right? The Disney, Disney D23 finally popped. Cleb. Cra- Yo, these dudes in house want umbrella. <laughs> so much content. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like a con of their own, like just for just yeah. Disney. Like it's insane. I don't even understand why they even spill over into San Diego when they have their own thing that's like massive. Yeah, it's like, honestly it's just because they just need the, the the stage time. Yeah, like because if they saved all the announcements for D twenty three, it would have been like four days worth of announcements on stage. I know. You know what I'm saying? Like this way, you know, you get to bring a little love everywhere, right? Cause yeah, because you, you were at San Diego, and like I imagine if those announcements weren't there. I know, but, yeah, and like the big ones too. Like they gave us some big ones. You know, we, we heard about Blade out there for the first time, and, and they could have saved that for now. But you know, what's so funny is like there's still newer announcements, like things that they didn't even mention at San Diego <laughs> Comic Con that they're announcing here, and it's it's just as big. The news is just as big. It's yeah, crazy. and some of the stuff that we already seen, now mm-hmm. we got like a deeper view into them, mm-hmm. and uh, let's let's get into it, Clep. Yeah. What was your favorite announcement from everything you saw so far? Uh, I have a couple, but I really, really, really enjoyed the Lady in the Tramp trailer. Yeah? Like, I think that it looks phenomenal, and I like what they're doing with the CGI as far as, like, animals and bringing them to life, like, cartoon-like, but still live action. It's a whole new thing. It looks amazing. It looks good. It's a whole new thing. You know, Lady in the Tramp's not one. I only really have one favorite Disney movie, but I'm going to go check out all of these because I just feel like they just look like something... That we just need to see. Yeah. So and it's gonna be right there mm-hmm. for you to stream whenever you choose, right? Like, hey, this is uh this content that Disney Plus is bringing you ain't no joke because this movie is day one, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The very first day, and they're not playing, and they coming out there. Um, a few new announcements, right? Like they they set the price. We had already heard about the mm-hmm. six ninety nine, mm-hmm. but now they're also saying it's full four K for that price. Yeah, four screens you can watch <laughs> at a time, and uh, also you can set up up to seven individual profiles. That's crazy. Dude, the value is bananas. All I'm gonna say is November twelfth. It's a R- huge R- day. R.I.P. R- to certain streaming networks. I'm not going to say no names. No, but, but it's it's usually it, there's colors associated with that. So, <laughs> I mean, if you know what it is, if you out, know, you Disney know. Disney is out for blood. Like, oh, they're absolutely. Out for, I don't know what went wrong, but they're like, fuck everyone. Yeah. We're fucking putting the dick right on the fucking We table. got an <laughs> army, son. <laughs> like, Disney's not playing around, man. They're Clep, not playing around. Clep, my favorite announcement, of course. Mm-hmm. You know, I thought it was going to be Marvel-related, but it wasn't. Whoa. I saw that Mandalorian trailer, and it was next level, <laughs> Listen, bro. John, like the, John Favreau, man. The quality on everything we saw from that show looked nothing short of a major, major motion picture. It's beautiful. It, it really, really is. It really looks... IMAX ish, 4K ish. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, I love that they still throw the Lucasfilm. Well, they have to. Like, that's just that's the company. I, I mean, I know, but it's Disney's just, the parent company. Lucasfilm is. This you know, looks Ryan better MVP. than any of the movies. Yeah, absolutely. Like literally, it looks like any like episode eight. It looks like episode seven. Like it's probably gonna look just like episode nine. And your man. Carl Weathers is there. Yeah, like, Apollo. Yeah, of course, Apollo bro, himself. How can you not? Dylan. Jenna Carano. Son in of this. a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he, show, he just shows up. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, Gina Carano's in this in this um, thing too. Oh yeah, man, man, it's gonna be so epic, bro. Dude, I, I I'm I'm excited, and you know what I'm saying. Like I usually only go for the the, the numbers. I'm like, you know, I treat Star Wars like Jordans. I only go for the numbers. Ooh. So, you know, episode, what is it, eight, nine is coming, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, so, the, ri- the rise of the Skywalker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but this, this look, you know what? It's so funny because I feel like Star Wars should have been a TV series a long time ago. 
They tried, right? There was a special. <laughs> there was a I mean, but, but was if, a you, Christmas if you didn't have special. Star Trek, this should have already had been a Star Wars mm -hmm. television series that should have been going for fucking decades. Yeah. And, you know, they always saw it as something bigger. But, I mean, shout out to them. Yeah, the Mandalorian. Amazing. Club, let's get let's take a look at some of these announcements. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, get some of the Marvel stuff out of the way because we talk enough Marvel, right? Like, I want to oh, yeah. talk Disney. Okay. So, we've already seen um, stuff going directly to Disney+. Plus. That's all I'm mentioning right mm -hmm. now. Of course, you're going to get all the Marvel movies. Mm -hmm. That's not it. That's, we don't even need to speak about that. Mm -hmm. But there's original TV shows like uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, mm -hmm. right? We already Wand talked about that. Yeah, yeah, we already heard about this. We got yeah. WandaVision. We already heard about this. Loki, mm -hmm. What If, Hawkeye. Yeah. But then, then to continue that timeline, right? Yeah. That, that part of Phase 4 still, yeah. we got new shows like Kamala Khan's huh. Miss Marvel, bro. Holy crap. Dude, I'm so excited for that. That, yeah. that is like... Listen, anybody that doesn't know Kamala Khan, she's a little, she's a 16 year old mm -hmm. fangirl of Captain Marvel. So we've already got introduced to Captain Marvel. And Kevin Feige said this last year that we were going to get Ms. Marvel. Uh, he didn't say how or in what iteration. He didn't make us wait long. Yeah, no. And he said this, he said not too long after we announced Captain Marvel, we're going to be um, bringing Ms. Marvel. So I'm, in, I want to see those two stories clash. I hope that you know Brie Larson comes back and she's sort of like a mentor to this girl because. Dude, oh, yeah. it's endless, dude. So that means we might even get Squirrel Girl. We might even Ooh. get, you know, like, it's it's just, I'm excited for the Ms. Marvel storyline. I am. She's the first Muslim superhero, too, yeah. by the way. So We got an internet favorite, Moon Knight, Clep. Moon Knight, dude. Like, everybody People, calls that Marvel's Batman. Yeah, Marvel's Batman's going to be not dark because it's going to be on Disney. But it'll be dark enough. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be dark enough to satisfy the people that like Daredevil, right? Like this is a show that I'm looking at mm -hmm. for the people that are going to be asking like, man, what happened to Daredevil? This is this is it strictly for those fans. Do you think that we're going to get the rumor? What's the rumor, Clep? About who will portray Moon Knight? No, I don't know. This is new to me. Clep, talk to me. There's rumor. Well, the fans want it. Who? They who? want Keanu. Yeah, Mark I mean, they want Mark Spector to be played by none other than Keanu. I don't see that happening. No, no, he's too big. He's yo, too big. Look, look what you're talking about. Mar Keanu, they're, they're no, I know. Really spending money yes, for these, show, but these this series. This is a full like TV show commitment, maybe even like seasons. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, he's a super busy dude. And right now he's like in a career renaissance. Yeah, he is. So, I haven't seen anything like it. Yeah, dude, he's like super hot Downey. right now. Not since Downey. I haven't seen anything yeah. like it. Yeah, like this dude got, he's juggling so many acts right now. He's back. Um, I mean, he's got what? He's got the Matrix back now. He's Ooh, got Bill we'll and Ted. We'll talk about that. You Bill and Ted on the way. Oh, John man. Wick going strong, getting yeah. a TV show, getting another sequel. Yeah. He's like... Uh, and like his little cameos in pop culture, like general <laughs> pop, they're next level right now. Yeah. Um. So yeah, Moon Knight. I don't think we'll get uh, Keanu, but I would love to see fresh casting on that. Maybe. Do you have anyone unknown. in mind? Anyone in mind? No, like it? someone unknown, like hit me with. I like when unknown. they do unknown, uh, unknowns. I like that. Yeah, man. Like they created stars when they, you know, they brought out, you know, Phase One people. So why not? Mm -hmm. uh, Clep. Last yeah. but not least. <laughs> she Hulk. I, I'm a, I'm kind of excited for this only because you know the history of the Hulk. Yeah, stems from television. It really, really um, does. And it was one of the longest lasting superhero television mm -hmm. series. It outlasted Wonder Woman. It opened it out, so many it doors. It Spider Man. Um, were there any others back then? I just remember those three. But I just Bro, know. Batman, like oh, oh, well, so Batman many, was on for so a very many long shows. Time. You Batman know, was Superman, syndicated, but there's a bunch of stuff. But definitely the Hulk um, roots stem from you know television. So I can't wait to see what they do with it. Hopefully Ruffalo will put you know making a make a cameo on that. And that, that's what I'm saying. All these people are gonna make cameos on all these shows. You mentioned Brie Larson in the mm. Miss Marvel. I don't that we will, that we will see Professor Hulk. Yeah. And uh, you know Jennifer, what? Is Can it? you imagine a budget for this series? The series, bro, it's gonna be mo mocap, yeah, the whole way through. Yeah, it's gonna be great, and I'm sure that we will see both. You know, her and her like you know regular persona and her mm -hmm. full Hulk out. 
It's gonna be amazing. Hulk out. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Dab. Clip. I'm no. wearing the sweater he was wearing. Yeah, you got that cardigan. <laughs> Listen to your mother. She knows better. Do your better. homework. You want you want a picture of Ant Man? She knows better. <laughs> Yo, Clip, but for real though, they even went in depth with some of these series, right? Like I saw the description for WandaVision. Mm. They this, they said it's half classic sitcom, which. That's- to you, I know you were like, "Wait, what?" Yeah, can that's. You, can you re- read that? Because that's you didn't interesting. Because when you say classic sitcom, I'm yeah. thinking Three's Company. Yeah. I'm thinking Family Matters. I'm that's, thinking it's gonna be a weird show because they said it's gonna be half that, full Marvel, full Marvel spectacle. Will it have a laugh track? I wouldn't be surprised because <laughs> like the 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 artwork for the show, mm. it showed like 1950s, right? So it's it's uh, Vision, but he looks human. And it's Wanda, but she's like in a 1950s outfit with the skirt, kind of like uh, I Love Lucy. I think I think this is going to be full on multiverse. I yeah. Because they say that this show is going to completely connect and go directly into Doctor Strange's uh, multiverse of madness sequel, mm-hmm. um, and she's going to be in that movie. So I think that this show is going to be completely multiverse based and. She's gonna go into a universe which is television mm-hmm. or like sitcom. That's just my my my. Yeah, and and yeah. She, yo, she has the power to create it, and um, maybe we'll find out what happened to Vision. Yeah, maybe maybe Vision will come back. Clep, during D twenty three, we also saw a special look at Black Widow, the film. Mm. You know, mm. they they started showing off some of the costumes. They did. There's a White Widow costume, Clep. White Widow. That's awesome. Shout out to Mark D. I know he going to enjoy that. <laughs> uh, but for real, though, like all of the things that we saw coming out of there, there was an announcement for the Clone Wars coming back. There's some major fans out there for this clap. The Clone the, Wars, right? The Clone Wars, I mean, the animated Wars, joint. Star Wars has always had its fans. They're not going anywhere. No. You could reboot the same Star Wars shit all over, and people are just going to be like, take my money. They don't care. Mm-hmm. Um, what about Black Panther? Black Panther got a release date, Clep. Ryan Coogler coming back, back, homie. That's the only way to do it. When When is it? Because I saw the 2020. date. 2020. I know it's 2020. And it's in May, Clep. That's Avengers timeline. I don't mean timeline. I mean like. They gave him the prime It's like the, big, the big release date, the right? Prime May, May, June, May July. 6. Those are big dates. And he got it. So he deserves May 6th. The beginning of May. 2022. That is the Avengers timeline. You're right. They gave it to the man. Yeah. They gave it to T'Challa. To, to the king, brother. I am T'Challa. Son of the chucka. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I love it. I'm sorry. Love it. If I could take Give it back, man I would, but I the can't. The summer so blockbuster slate. Rock. Yeah, man. Clep, what else did we see out of D23? We saw a classic, the very classic Lizzie McGuire's making oh, a comeback. Oh, man, Lizzie McGuire's back, dude. Like, listen. I didn't like, know. Yo, I didn't know I wanted this. This is what dreams are made of. And no honestly, pun. Like, it's not a show for me. Like, it's not like, yo, Migs, you need to watch this. Mm. But, like, man, I grew up with the Disney Channel. I used to watch Lizzie McGuire. I'm not even going to front. You know, Lizzie, Miranda, Gordo, bro. You know, like, Gordo. I know the crew. I'm not, and I didn't have to, like, yo, look listen. this up. I just Gordo, remember. Gordo was the original friend zone, kid. Yo, the original friend zone. Was it, wasn't he with Miranda? Nah, listen, Gordo and Lizzie are supposed to be together, but she always kept that boy in the friend zone. Kept that boy in the friend zone, man. It's deep sight. Yo, but what do we want to see out of Lizzie McGuire? Like, Clep, you, I know you wrote a little bit about this. What's the description for it? Um, Basically, she's supposed to be a 30-something millennial. Navigating. Uh, yeah, you know, they're just trying to update it the same way they did with Full House. So it's yeah. going to be from her perspective as a grown-up. Um, I believe there's a kid involved or maybe some kids involved. I'm not sure. I just know cool. that she's coming back as a 30-something millennial. Yeah. Um, and we're going to follow her, you know, in her uh, new uh, new journey as an adult. Bro, but they're going to keep the format, you know, where she would talk to herself With and the, the little, little cartoon, animated, yeah, Liz, little you thing. know, Lizzie McGuire yeah. would come up. Like, it's that. Everyone should be coming back. So, I think it'll be a good time. So for the fans of something like Girl Meets World, like, this is going to be perfect. How, is Girl Meets World still on? I don't know. I know it did well. I'm sure it did. It did well, but I don't know if it's still. It probably canceled. Well, ended, not canceled. It probably ended. 
Clef, but, they uh, also, um, I think they talked about um, casting for the Diego Luna Star Wars show that's also coming to this. Um, we got a first look at Noel, an original film starring Anna Kendrick and Bill Hader. What well, seems like a little kooky, fun little yeah, family thing. She's playing Santa's yeah, daughter. Yeah, because think about it. It's November. It's November. Mm. What's right after November? December. Christmas time, of course, you need a cr- original Christmas. You got to come movie. in with a strong Christmas movie. And nobody does Christmas like a Disney Christmas movie. No one. Yeah, and she's like except maybe Hallmark. Yeah, yeah. But does like, Disney own Hallmark? We don't know. These days, Clef, I, don't, I wouldn't <laughs> even doubt it, Clef. Um, am I missing anything out of uh, um? Yeah, C23? man. Twenty three. Talk to me. The man himself, Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> Goldblum is getting a show. <laughs> Yo. Like, if you're going to give a show to somebody, you give it to fucking Jeff Goldblum. Yo, I was hanging out with Mark D the other day, and he was doing a hilarious fucking Jeff Goldblum expression. <laughs> and, like, it made me think of, like, uh, of uh, Pineapple Express, when, like, this was describing, like, the, the, the boys that the girlfriend talks to, and, like, they, he did a really good impression of Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> like, the fuck does an impression of Jeff Goldblum? Mark D does an impression of Jeff. Listen, Goldblum. I just like watching this guy. Bro, he's super entertaining. He can do whatever he wants. Like it's kind of like Seinfeld with his, uh, mm-hmm. you know, cars and, and coffee and the, that kind oh, of thing. Oh, bro, it's like it's hilarious. You, you could just be talking about any goddamn thing with Jeff Goldblum. He's hitting comic cons in this series. He's talking with people, people around, real people in the world. And the trailer looks amazing. You guys should check it out. It's called, uh, it's called the world. According to Jeff Goldblum, and I'm telling you, it looks phenomenal. He looks like he's having a blast, and yeah, I can watch this all day. Yeah, I will be. Quirks. I will be watching this. Oh, his quirks is gonna be amazing. Another one, November 12th. Yeah, day one. Yeah. Clip. We have a major announcements right for those Game of Thrones fans. Mm. The man, John, Mister, he knows nothing. Mister, the rightful king of the Seven Kingdoms, Mister Jon Snow. Kit Harrington. It's Kit Harrington is coming yeah. to Disney Plus. No, I take that back. He's joining the Eternals Club. MCU. He's, yeah. ju- he's jumping to the big screen. The big screen with the biggest uh, movie studio in yeah. the game right now. And he's joining the Eternals. He's joining the Eternals. And the character that he's playing, none other than Black Knight. Yeah. And listen, you guys don't understand. This is one of those characters, those breakthrough characters that doesn't shine like the Iron Man, mm-hmm. the Captain America's. Uh, you know, the Spider-Mans, but he plays a prominent role in the Avengers series. Like, Clep, what can you tell me about the Black Knight? Because I don't know the Black Knight. Well, the Black Knight is, he's uh, he's from another dimension. Okay. Um, he's in the original Endgame comic series. Like okay. the storyline, uh, it's called Endgame, but it has no relation to the movie. But the book, uh, Avengers number 47, he's in that book. Um, and yeah, that was like his first appearance or something like that, I believe. Or one, one of the two. Mm-hmm. Um and is yeah, he a powerful, powerful. No, character? he's just a knight from you know. Okay. Um, he's just a, he's just a, a prominent character, he's like someone you should know because he's in a lot of Avenger books. Like mm-hmm. if you pick up a run of the original Avenger series, you're gonna see the Black Knight quite a few times. So it's only right that he gets to shine. You know what I mean? So, so, so you telling me that Care Harrington went from the Knight's Watch mm-hmm. to the Black Knight? Epic. The Black Knight, which was always confusing to me because I didn't know if um, the Martin Lawrence movie was supposed to be like a nod to this. Oh, shoot. Like, like I didn't know at first because... <laughs> I never even thought about that movie He went through years. a dimension, right? He went through a portal. Yeah, sort of. So I didn't... I, I got to look into it because I never knew if that was supposed to be or whatever but mm-hmm. nah but yeah this is i'm glad i'm so happy i'm, I'm really happy because i have his first appearance bro so <laughs> yo clef's the collector bro we call him the collector you know what i mean so yeah Clef, he's can. reuniting with his brother from game of thrones uh richard manson right yeah, man. so now you know both of them now it's, he's a good character right yeah, like he's a good guy. okay yeah, so he fights with the avengers he's gonna be uh on on his brother's it's, side it's gonna, it's gonna be, really be a great thing i think they're gonna use the eternals to bring out a lot of those breakthrough characters that no one really knows or pays attention to which is just going to connect everything so much better i can't wait. i'm kind of excited for it i really don't i i, I, I thought it wasn't going to do well but i think it's going to be one of those sleepers like guardians i'm sure it is i'm yeah. sure it's going to be someone's favorite yeah. in, uh, in a not too distant future yeah Clep, another announcement one that a lot of people didn't see coming which one <clears throat> ewan mcgregor is making oh, a return yeah. As Obi. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obi-Wan Bro, Kenobi. Bro, if there's one thing that it was universally loved mm. by Star Wars fans, 
during you know that that second uh, trilogy that came out in the in the late in the two thousands. Mm-hmm. Um, it was the cast of uh, Ewan McGregor as Obi Wan Kenobi. Awesome. So I'm sure people are so excited that he's coming back and he's playing like a, an older version. Like, like it's just a part of that universe that having some bridge stories there. Mm-hmm. It's just gonna be amazing. Clap! I, I can't wait for it. I was a huge fan of uh, Phantom Menace. A lot of people didn't like it, mm-hmm. but I thought it was a great introduction to the whole story with Anakin and. Uh, I thought uh, Ewan McGregor was a great cast uh, for that film. I thought everyone was pretty much a great cast for that film. So I'm excited to see what they... You know, I mean, it's better that they go back and retell stories than try to create sequels to outdo these originals because there's no way to outdo them. And you see the hate that these newer films are getting. So I'm on board with them going back and kind of revisiting storylines. Yeah. Yep. Clep, um, something else that we saw was a deeper look. I guess people that were there got to see the first episode mm-hmm. of uh, What If, the Marvel animated series. I missed that. I didn't know that. Yeah, Clep, they watched the first episode, and it's based on uh, Captain America, <laughs> on the very the first Avenger. And the what, the what If story is what if, instead of Steve Rogers getting the super soldier serum, Agent Carter got it. Really? So it's the first episode is what if Captain Carter. You want to know something? What up? That's actually a comic series. Yeah, it's going to be great, Clip. I need to find this. Yeah, well, you better get your hustle, boy. <laughs> you better get oh, that hustle, boy. Oh, man, I didn't. I, how did I miss this? I don't know, bro, but that's what I'm here for. Yeah. For you and yeah. for the critics out there. I like that. Um, Yeah, this was a comic series that came out uh, a little while ago. I believe it was probably last year or maybe mm-hmm. a year before. The picture is uh, Peggy Carter on the cover holding the shield. I remember it very, very well. I think I even posted it in our Critics Comics. But, yeah, that is insane. That is crazy. That is insane. So that means – so, but it's an animated, though. I would have much rather have seen uh, Haley Atwell – Oh, suit she's going to be voicing it, though. She's voicing but I would have really loved to see her suit up. Don't we all clap? You know what I mean? Like, this is cool. I love the what if. I just hate that it's an animated series. I really do. Clap, there's so much exciting news coming out of D23, bro. Like, it was just amazing. Um, you might have to make this a two-parter, man. Oh, God, so much. And the, sadly, we have to move on because there's just so, so much, Clap. Let's do it. But, um... Clep, let's switch it up and talk about something a little bit more serious. What's up? Brother, Disney did not just make news because of all the announcements. They also announced a major breakup. You want to talk about this a little bit? <sighs> yeah, man. I mean, and I'm going to speak passionately about this because I really feel Preach. as though I really feel as though this is all about money and has nothing to do with the fans. And mm-hmm. we are responsible for the reason of this, this, this property being a billion dollar franchise. And it's kind of like a fuck you to all of us that, you know, well, no, it really is. Like, I'm, I, there's no way getting around it. The fact that two big, large corporations who will never and ever in a million years ever be broke or nope. bankrupt uh, are sitting at the table talking about, no, you can't have this character after a 10 year buildup of storyline and cliffhanger. It's just just like that. Just like that. Gone. Gone. Nope. You can't have them. Whatever. You never know what happened. What like how does that sound to the fans? Like the people who have invested money, years, and time binge watching in theaters for 30, 40 something hours to support your property and you just like because you guys can't come to a simple agreement over a billion dollars. Yeah. Like, there's enough to go around. Yeah, there Seriously, is. Seriously, there's enough to go around. Clip, but let's talk about the initial deal because originally mm. sp- the Disney Sony deal was for five movies, right? We saw Spider-Man first in Captain America Civil War, right? Mm-hmm. That was his first appearance. Then we saw a um, an actual Spider-Man film, which was Spider-Man Homecoming, correct? Yep. Then we saw him again in Avengers Infinity War. Yep. We saw him in Avengers Endgame. That makes four. Uh-huh. And to finalize the deal, we saw him in a sequel Spider-Man Far From Home. Yeah. That's our five film mm. from the initial deal. Yep. These guys sat at a table recently and just somehow became like like 
they could have just not reached a deal, which so, is ridiculous. So let's so let's talk about the original deal. The yes. original deal was that Sony would fund all all the Spider-Man standalone movies. Mm-hmm. Um, they would fully fund them, and then Marvel would receive five percent of first weekend gross, mm-hmm. um, and then the rest goes to Sony. Period. Cut and dry. Yeah. Now you can tell by just that deal alone, and people always like to look at Disney and Marvel as the monsters because they're the bigger corporation. They are a big corporation. But you can tell based on that deal that it was purely about the passion. Yeah, it, it was purely about the projects themselves, and they wanted Spider-Man to be in this universe because they knew and saw what its potential was. Yeah. I mean, who uniting these right things mind? was amazing, right? Who in, their, who in their right mind would say, "I'll take five percent"? Yeah. Who in their right mind? Yeah. Who in their right? Would you take five percent? Would you take five percent? Just, just because? Just so I can get to play with the character? No, no. Exactly. So. That deal alone should say a lot about where Marvel and Disney were standing at the time. Now, the new deal, yeah, which was shot down immediately without a thought. Now, these are rumors, right? Like, we yeah, don't know yeah, this yeah. for sure. Yeah. You know, We just know what, what we've read. Without a shadow of a doubt. So, the new deal was Disney and Marvel wanted to 50-50 co-fund all said Spider-Man films mm-hmm. going forth and split the profits 50-50. Yeah. Now, Disney and Marvel are the reasons... That this is a billion dollar franchise, right? Yeah, because like the last two Spider Man, first of all, every time we've seen Spider Man on the big screen, ever since Marvel picked them up, it has been a, bi- a billion dollar film. Over that. Every time. Every time. Yeah, every time. Yeah, Marvel. Every time. Yeah, yeah, every time. Every yeah. Marvel movie. <laughs> but but it's gotten to the point which is like, yo, what have you done for me lately, right? Spy, uh, Spider Man was uh, recently featured in Into the Spider Verse, mm-hmm. right? So. Sony's filling themselves, kid. It's an animated cartoon. There, but it's an amazing animated. It is cartoon. an amazing animated cartoon, but it's something different. It's not something like people are fatigued. Yeah. Like it's not that we don't want to see a Sony Spider-Man. We just don't want to see the same Sony Spider-Man. Yeah. And we've already had two of the same Sony Spider-Man. Miles Morales. It's his time. People yeah. want to see a different Spider-Man. So. Give the original to, to Marvel so that they can do what's supposed to be done with him. Oh. And then work with your new Spider-Man. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. Miles isn't popular enough for people to complain about his origin or, you know. But oh, it doesn't take much for you to get there with him, too. They, like They tweaked his origin in, in the in the Enter the Spider-Verse. A lot of you don't even know and don't even care because to you, it's a new version of Spider-Man. Peter Parker, on the other hand. It's a classic character. It really is. It's like is. Batman. You will never, you will never see anyone change Batman's origin in a feature yeah. film. <laughs> you know, it just doesn't happen. They're either going to tell the, an iteration of an original uh, uh, origin, or they're going to tell a different version of the origin. But any book version of the origin, they're going to tell. They're never going to change Batman's storyline. His parents are going to always die. Um, Clep, so so. The thing is, also, Tom Holland still has a deal with Sony. So this is not to. the last time we've seen Tom Holland Spider-Man. Yeah. It's just the last time we potentially have seen him with the MCU. Yeah. And I guess part of the new deal, they also wanted uh, mm-hmm. Marvel to uh, integrate some of these Spider-Man characters that Sony has uh, a hold on, right? So they wanted Venom to be integrated. I Tom have Hardy's- it all right here. We can break it down. Yeah, break it down. Okay, so up. according to the new deal. Yeah. It was a six-picture deal. That's that's the with, deal what they wanted. With an, with an option for a seventh movie deal. For just Tom Holland. There are three more Spider-Man films in the contract that you're talking about mm-hmm. um, that, that Tom Holland has to, you know, fulfill. Um, the second trilogy, well, we already are, we're working on the third trilogy now. The second trilogy, I'm sorry, we're working on the first trilogy now. Uh, third film coming up. The, the next trilogy is supposed to focus on his college years. Um, and then the, the third one is going to focus on him, you know, you know being an adult. Um, and they had some cool ideas for the, for the college thing. They were going to bring in Iceman and Firestar from the X-Men. Yeah. So they were going to do like Spider-Man and his Amazing Friends type storyline. Um, That'd be cool. And, Something we haven't seen. And then they were going to introduce Johnny Storm yeah. as an adult, and then they were going to bring in... Fantastic, Fantastic Four. Four. Oh, my God, So they were going to use Spider-Man to catapult all these characters that you guys know you want. Everyone's waiting to see what Marvel does with the X-Men. Everyone's waiting to see what the Fantastic Four is going to be. 
but that was the deal that you know Sony shot down, and they also were talking about bringing Venom in, like you yeah, were saying. And, so and, and integrating, MCU, yeah, integrating not Tom Hardy, yeah, integrating yeah, so. him, which would be major money for Sony either way. Oh yeah, like it doesn't matter whether it's fifty percent, forty percent, twenty percent, a hundred. Like you, they're gonna make so much money that it's crazy that minimal percentages is what's holding back happiness for all of us like yeah and if, if a deal can't be reached it's gonna get real weird because most likely what we're gonna see is they're gonna try to make the spider-man universe a thing mm -hmm. and we're gonna see you know uh jared leto's morbius the living vampire we're gonna see obviously tom hardy's venom and probably that craven movie that you know has been spoken about a little bit mm -hmm. uh for a while now that's probably gonna be the people that spider-man tom holland's gonna be uh interacting with from that here on out yeah and then you know it's it's getting it's supposedly spilling out you know like the 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 a lot of the uh, stars are speaking out oh like jeremy renner spoken yes. out uh tom holland supposedly unfollowed sony on, on yeah but on, like uh, social he, media Instagram. he even made a few comments Zendaya over d23 too. you know like it's yeah, yeah it's a tough situation for everybody because they listen this is his career yeah you know he's had a great career with Marvel and Disney, uh, you know, outside of Sony, and for Sony to take take the character and think that they can do whatever they want to do, and what if they do a flop? That's his career. You yeah, know? and, you know, and look and what happened to Toby. Like, yeah, and look, know? look, t Tony, Sony, and and Tom are like deeply involved right now. Like, mm -hmm. he's the face of another franchise of theirs, the Uncharted um, yeah. franchise that they're trying mm -hmm. to get going. So. Uh, and they even made another movie that's yet to be released. Mm -hmm. Heard with um, oh man, what's her face? Anyways, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But it's just it's just crazy how uh, Tom's not leaving Sony. Spider Man might be leaving in the MCU. Yeah, that's and that's sad. That's that's a real bummer, man. I mean, there's ten years build up, man. Ten years. And they made him the face, like yeah. after to after Tony Stark, R.I.P. Yeah. Um, he was he's the main focus. So uh, I don't know how they're going to write themselves out of this conundrum. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I'm super excited to see what happens. Clep. Yeah. Clep, uh, let's move on from Marvel, Sony. Let's talk straight up DC. This is going to be real quick. We got a release date uh, coming up for the Joker film. Mm -hmm. October 5th, I mm -hmm. believe is mm -hmm. the date. Yeah. Uh, it no, is no, no, October 4th. 4th, yeah. 5th. Splitting hairs. Yeah. Right now, <clears throat> it's been confirmed. This is on our rated film through and through. Clef, how excited are you for this? I think that this is the Joker film that we deserve. Mm. It's, it has to be. Uh, listen, if it's a villain movie, any villain movie should be rated R. Yeah. I hated Venom for that reason. Like Venom should have been rated R. Um, I think any villain movie should be rated R, especially if it's not in the Disney World. Clip, what do you think this story they're going to be telling during this thing? Because I was talking to Mark D the other day, mm -hmm. and my um, my theory is that this is not going to be, you know, the Joker that we know and love. This is going to be like sort of like a Elseworld, a yeah. uh, different universe, but it's going to be like that one bad day. But we already, yeah, we already know that this is not going to follow any of the comic book mm -hmm. storylines whatsoever. The Joker, he doesn't have an origin originally anyway, so you can pretty much do whatever you want yeah, with, you with, free a, with the Joker. Um, so... Uh, Todd Phillips already said that this is going to be a, a, a film adaptation of, you know, the character himself. Uh, it follows a guy named Arthur uh, F Fleck. Uh, Arthur Fleck. Uh, I think he's a clown or a comedian of some mm -hmm. sort. Lives with his mother, takes care of his sick mother. And who knows what's going to happen, but we know that he's going to lose his shit. Yeah, during havoc. one bad day. He's going <laughs> to wreak havoc uh, throughout. I want, does it take place in Gotham? Yeah. Okay, yeah, it takes then. place in Gotham, a.k.a. Then. Manhattan. <laughs> yo, but for real, though, like, like I think this is going to be like, yo, if anything can go wrong for this character, it's mm. going to go wrong really fast. And before you know it, he's going to be full Joker because like, he's just going to have to laugh at, you know, all these miseries and, and all the bad luck that's going to go come to him. Mm. And I can't wait for it. Me neither. I can't wait. I, yeah, well, I'm in there first day or amazing. earlier, depending on, you know, the love. Clef, real, I just want to uh, tell the critics real fast, yeah. you know, real recommendation real fast. Mm. Yo, I've been watching Mindhunter on, on Netflix. Ooh, fire. Really dark show. Is it? It's really good. If you're into uh, CSI, mm. 
if you're like into criminal minds, mm -hmm. if you're into, you know, that type of law and order type of show, this might be for you. True crime, man, based on real stories. I like a good mystery. It's about um, when they first established the BSU behaviors, uh, the profiling unit out of the mm -hmm. FBI. Oh, man, it's so good. Uh, season two, solid. It, it's based around the Atlanta murders and back in the 1960s or 1970s. Okay. It's crazy, bro. And they talk about all the, they talk to these uh, crazy serial killers from history, including Charles Manson. Yeah. Woo! Oh, wow. Ed Kemper, freaking Son of Sam. Oh, man. You, you guys have to watch. You got to be in the murder. Yeah. Oh, man. And I'm saying it's dark. It's a dark show. It but sounds dark. It's on Netflix and, you know, you can binge two seasons of it right now mm. if you choose. Clef. What's up? The date for chapter two, it chapter two, it's right around the corner. Oh, man. I'm super excited for this film. Although I'm, I'm kind of noticing they have dropped the ball on marketing this time around. Uh, I, you know what it is? Cause I think they started too early. Mm. Um, and now it's just kind of getting to the point where it's like, okay, let's slow it down. People know people are waiting for this. Do this, they this, know? Yeah, people know. No, no one's forgetting. Cause like it crept up on me. The date crept up on me and I'm who this movie is geared towards. You know what I'm mm -hmm, saying? Mm -hmm. Like, oh, shoot, September 6th is in like two weeks. I got to buy my ticket. Not really, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I got to go watch this. And uh, there's a rumor, Clep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a super cut coming of chapter one and chapter two. Straight from the director himself. Whoa. This is a, 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 a game changer, Clep. Yeah, yeah. For all the fans of the original, you know, the TV movies back in the day, this mm -hmm. is going to scratch that itch. I remember that. That movie, didn't that come, movie come out on like two tapes? Yeah. Two, two VHS yeah. tapes uh, when they released it in uh, home video. Um, I'm, I'm excited. Dude, I would watch that movie in one, in one shot. That's five hours. That's five hours That's of Pennywise. Gangsta. And I don't know if you guys are ready for five hours of Pennywise, but I am. Yo, you know what's crazy? I've been watching, you know, I, I stay on YouTube and stuff. And, uh -huh. you know, I like it when people break down certain films and, like, search Easter eggs for them. And yep. one, I saw a recent one. It was all the times Pennywise appear in the background when you don't it, even I notice. I saw that. I saw that same <laughs> thing. You know what? I, I, didn't wa I didn't watch it. It was, like, late. I was, like, yeah. you know, I was just sitting up waiting around at the crib and I, I just I saw that but I didn't want to click on it. I didn't Bro, wanna, it, it's it makes the movie like s so much better like it just because because now you know like so many Easter eggs that people missed the first time around and sometimes they're like really really like not consequential mm -hmm. but sometimes it's like oh shoot he was like right there like he was right there and they didn't see him they gave us a lot of that in the new trailer as well too yeah, bro, I can't wait. And you know what I noticed? Talking about the marketing, mm -hmm. they're really focusing on James McAvoy. Like, like this is his movie all of a sudden. Oh, he's the man. He can play anything. Yeah, but bro, come on now. Like, it was never. It's an ensemble type of thing, right? Yeah. Like, I don't just want to see that. Um, I'm still excited for the film. And I mean, shout out to Andy it. Machete, man. I think he did a great job with the original. I cannot wait for the sequel. I think it's gonna be fucking badass, mm -hmm. and I can't wait. And it's, it's almost three hours long. It's like it's like two two minutes and like I mean two hours and like fifty something. Are you ready to go back to Derry? I'm ready to go back to Derry. I'm a, you know what? I might even go to Derry to watch the movie. I'm not going with you. <laughs> Cause you know what happens when you when you get to Derry, right? We should do we should do like a critics they all, we they, should do like a critics bus ride. They all float. We bring, down. We all bring, oh, they all, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> we should do like a critics bus ride and bring all the fans. Like, listen, you guys come watch this movie in Derry with us. I'm not making no promises, <laughs> Clep. Who's with us? I'm not making no promises. Clep, but it that's a reboot. Let's talk about another reboot. Oh god. Yo, straight to Netflix. Wait, bro. Hold up. Why are you, why are you, you even bugging? How, you, you haven't heard what I'm going to say You know how I yet. feel about the reboots, man. You, I have a feeling you might be into this one. Okay, what is it? The God, Kev Smith, oh. is putting his touch. The Tusk God. On the masters of the universe. Will there, be, will there be a walrus in this? No, most likely not, but there might be a battle cat. You know, what I'm I saying? like that. There might be a homie with a with a cannon on his arm. Oh man! There might be a prince that turns into you know a he man. A he man. Yeah, bro, that's right. He man is coming back straight to Netflix, animated, produced by the one and only the Tusk God. The Tusk God himself. Kevin Smith. 
Dude, are you not into this, Clapper? I'm totally into this. Of course you are. Growing up, He-Man was like one of my favorite cartoons. Um, I watched recently. I watched the, the She-Ra, the reboot, the She-Ra. And oh yeah, tell and, me about that. It wasn't bad at all. Like it looks cartoony. It looks really kiddish, but it's not. Like it's, I think it's a you know, uh, little teenish. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of battle, a lot of fight scenes and stuff. And I thought it was good. So, if Kev Smith, I mean, he says this is going to be a continuation from the original. Whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah. whoa, This whoa. is this is not going to be a brand new story. So Prince Adam, what? Like, how did the original? I, I and don't I don't remember. even remember that. Like, I remember watching this cartoon every week, every day after school, and I don't remember how it ever ended. I mean, back then you didn't worry about cancellations yeah. because things were syndicated, and it would just rerun over and over and over. You didn't have to really. I mean, I'm sure ratings was a thing, mm-hmm. but there were so many shows that just stayed on, like. We never thought about cancellations or like a, a series finale or uh, the end of the season. Like I didn't, never, never knew that existed. Yo, what kind of animation style you want to see? You want to see them go back to that old kind of Hanna Barbera look of animation, or you want something more contemporary, something kind of like what we see with uh, Netflix's Castlevania series? Or do you want to see something more like CG, computer-generated images, kind of like Troll Hunters? Because I feel personally that might be the way to go. So I really, really enjoyed the 2002 He-Man cartoon when it came out. Wait, there was a 2002 He-Man? Yeah, they remade it um, not too long ago. And it was very anime-ish. Yeah. But, you oh, know. Oh, yeah, it does look crazy anime. Look at but... That. I oh, was a fan of it. Cat. Yeah, I was oh, a fan no. of it. They slimmed out He-Man. Like, he wasn't so bulk, but the villains look amazing. You guys should check it out. It came out in, like, 2002. I remember even the toys were badass. They looked, were they? Yeah, they looked really, 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 uh, just just a sculptor to them was really, really cool. So, so basically, you want, like, a, a, a Eastern anime type of look? Yeah, I, I, I was a Western fan. Anime? I was a fan of the He Man uh two thousand two um cartoon and the toys. Yeah. So so hey man, I'm I'm somewhat excited for this. I, I, I like my fair share of animation, especially if it's more geared towards, you know, the big boys like myself. I still got Batman Hush to watch, but you know, that's yeah, that's definitely on the books to watch. You definitely got um it. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. This is if it's anything like the originals, it might sell a lot of toys. That's yeah. all I gotta say. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If Netflix wants to get into the toy game, well, I remember you watched the. Have you seen the toys that made us? Ah, uh, no, I did not. I, watch if toys I'm, that if made us. Serve me. I, I know I'm correct when I say this, but I believe that He Man began as toys first. Yeah. And then they made the cartoon. Yeah, so they. So. That's why they have such a like like interesting cast of villains, right? Yeah. Like, Hey man, they they got all these crazy looking ass toys. Now we gotta put them in some type of cartoon and, and, I never, and sell them. On the I book. never even knew what every episode was about. I just remember, you know, Skeletor wanted something. He wanted to get, he wanted to get into Castle Grayskull, and then He Man would always change, come about. Prince Adam would hide and go change and whoop ass. But they yeah. were never really really good. Bro, when lives. you get when you have a sword <laughs> of power, anybody could do it. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Anybody yeah, could do it. I'm excited. I can't wait. Ah, uh, Clep. So that's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got another return. We got the one, the chosen. Mm. Neo. You talk about the, the man earlier. He's mm. in a career renaissance. The one. We talking about the one, the only, the immortal the <laughs> Keanu Reeves, bro. The immortal, the immortal Keanu. Keanu Reeves, right? Like, hey, he's coming back. Neo is coming back. He's not coming alone. No. Uh uh his his homegirl Trinity, yeah. Carrie Ann Moss is also making a return. We've yet to heard about Morpheus Lauren Fishburne, but um come on man, let's get the band back together. I'm I'm all for this. I mean, technically the Matrix is never over. If you guys remember the original oh. and what it really means oh and what God, what no. happens, I hated that. I hated that. I mean, it never ends. It's just a revolving cycle. It's oh, a computer no, system. No, you, no, don't do that. Yeah, but that's don't what it is. Me that. It never ends. It's, no, I want an. I want something new. I want. So, something do you different. think that Keanu will be the new Morpheus? I will. I yeah, I like that very much, actually. I mean, if we're talking computer systems, he can't be because it has to be the same program. Clep, stop it with that, bro. It has to be the same program designed to. But it's got to be a continuation of that because he broke the mold. 
Maybe he hacked it and he can be whatever he wants. I don't care, bro. What if he's but a listen, Smith? Neo. Oh, what if he's the new um, engineer? Mr. Anderson. Oh, shit. Yo, you think he's coming back? Smith? I don't know. He doesn't like coming back to anything. Yeah, Hugo dude. even seems like a This guy's a one shot and I'm out kind of guy, with. dude. Like, he didn't even I come mean, back. I mean, shout for, out to you because you're like a super talented dude. He but... don't come back for Red Skull. Like, dude, we're talking about a Marvel yeah, movie. Yeah, like... bro. I don't know. So we're not gonna see Mr. Anderson. I, I don't I don't know. I mean we'll see the Mr. real Smith, Mr. Anderson, Smith, but we're not yeah. gonna see. Well, I don't think we're gonna see Agent Smith. I I'm I'm curious. I mean I don't know how much better they can make that storyline. Like I said, it's a computer system that just keeps repeating the same cycle over and over. But <laughs> we'll see what happens. I just shook my head violently. Uh, Clef, but honestly, like, what do you want to see from this movie? Like, are we gonna bring back the vinyl? Are we gonna bring back the trench coats? I mean. The special effects has gotten so much crazier since then. I mean, this was at the time when, like, 2000, New Millennium, Millennium was, like, the thing. And, yeah, patent leather was, like, the shit for some yeah. reason. Like, futuristic stuff. Yeah. I mean, binary coding and... It's so... Y, what was it, Y2K? Like, Dumb. everybody Why? thought that it's so the 2000s. world was going to fucking blow up. It's so 2000s. <laughs> is amazing. Like, the world was going to reset once 2000 hit. When that, when that. Because <laughs> it doesn't know how to register the zeros. Yeah. Right? So. <laughs> Yo, we were wilding. This is just a time where just, like, all that technology shit was, like, cool. So, I don't know. The guns and the patent leather and the glasses. I don't know. I don't know if this works today. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But it's Keanu. He's yeah. hot right now. You know, he, you mentioned Bill and Ted coming back. Mm -hmm. we, we already talked about John Wick and how bananas has been getting. Uh, what else? And, and then all his general pop culture. He's in a new video game, Clep. Yeah. He's in cyberpunk. People yeah. love people. Are, it's like one of the most anticipated games of coming and, soon. And, and they just celebrated the 20th anniversary of The Matrix. I know, my August 30th. And so. it came to theaters, came back to theaters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucking crazy, man. Shout out to Keanu. I'm sure Neo's going to be doing his thing. And I personally can't wait to see how this continues. I know, Clever. Let's I finish. Know Kung Fu. <laughs> Show me. <laughs> Red or blue pill. Uh, Clever, let's wrap things up with some Netflix news. And now, this is regarding last year's hit show, The Haunting on Hill House. Oh, yeah. Love Clap, it. this is coming on DVD, Blu-rays. Tis the season. And uh, this is packed with a bunch of uh, director's cuts of certain episodes. So this might be like something to watch out for. I'm super excited. Listen, first of all, Haunting a Hell House was masterpiece. Yeah, and masterpiece. and and I I like the route that they're going with on season two. Mm -hmm. They're making it an anthology, so it'll be like you know like Twilight Zone or like yeah. Creep Show. Where still following a haunting. Every, every season will be a different story. Oh, oh different more like, setting. More like um uh a a a h s yeah, American Horror Story, American Horror Story, which is also something I'm excited about. Tis Ooh, the season. Tis the season. Yep. Um, but. Yeah, man. So this director's cut. Yeah, and it's not for every episode. It's for some of the most, um, some of the biggest episodes in it. Like, I know the Ben Neck Lady's getting a director's cut. The first wow. episode's getting a director's cut. The final episode's getting a director's cut. Mm. So th we're going to see a lot more of the vision that the director initially had. So I'm excited. It's for probably that. scary as fuck. Yeah, man, and like if if you remember how this show um dealt with like all these ghosts, like I'm sure it's gonna be a whole lot of Easter eggs. Dude, I binged that show by yeah. myself after midnight. Ooh. Like, I couldn't stop. This and man's I, a brave soul. And I, and I I couldn't watch and I couldn't stop. Yeah. I literally like I'm not gonna lie. You talk about feeling dirty after Hereditary. Yeah, dude, I felt it's got you. I felt like there were spirits. Just roam in the room. You felt it. Yeah, it was horrible. You felt the, the it was shivers, horrible. that cold. It was horrible. And it was also like a, it was that year that um, Sabrina had dropped. Mm -hmm. uh, I think maybe the second season or was it the first? I, don't, I think it was the second season. So I had watched Sabrina. Then I had watched that. Then I had watched. Uh, so you were heavy into horror. Yeah, I went to the theater to see something too, man. Um, the Halloween. Yeah. I went to see Halloween. That month of October was just very, very creepy for me. Um, and I might, I, yeah, I, I don't, I don't even know how I made it through. I don't know how I made it through, but well, I, Clef, it's, it's almost here. Tis the season. It's almost I here. I do that though. I do yeah. that. Horror. But, but before we get to the horror that takes place in the end of October, there's a pitch stop 
we must make in the beginning of October. Uh oh. You might not be excited for this, but me and a whole nation behind me uh -oh. are rabid over this news. What is it? Netflix dropped a trailer, mm. a teaser maybe, of a Breaking Bad movie clip. Gotcha. Woo! Got Breaking you. Bad movie, El Camino, Jesse. coming October, I think, 10? Jesse Pinkman? Yeah, this is based on Jesse, how after, you know, the events of Breaking Bad, the final episode, Jesse, you know, goes on the run. Mm. The cartel's after him. Not the cartel. The white supremacists, bro. Holy crap. <laughs> they're after him, and they're, the, the trailer itself is them talking to Skinny Pete. Mm. This is, doesn't mean anything to you. I, I, I'm but familiar. This is, this is one of Jesse's like true homeboys. I'm familiar. Even though, you know, he's like a meth head and all that, and mm -hmm. but but he still ride for Jesse. So the fact that we get to see Skinny Pete still alive, still a meth head, <laughs> like it's just <laughs> kind of crazy. Meth head, still alive. Yeah, but it's a um, he, they're asking about Jesse Pinkman, and I want to know about Jesse Pinkman. I think everybody. So wants El to know Camino, about. Breaking Bad movie. Coming to Netflix October 10th, I believe is the mm -hmm. date. Yep. I'm super excited for this clip. Uh, I, I, it's 11th actually, October 11th. October 11th. I'm, Thank I'm, you, I'm, sir. You know what? Correction. Listen, I was I was trying to catch up. I had started. Yes. Uh, Breaking Bad. I think I made it to like episode six, of season one. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it was decent. I could go back to it. I. I was only six episodes in. I know. It's considered to be <laughs> one of the best TV shows of all time. That's all I'm going to say. I will I will plan to go back and see this, but I have to catch up on Power because Power... It's dropping, right? Dropping uh, now. Yeah. It's, it's playing. Tonight. Um, and I haven't... I haven't caught up on season, the last season. Yeah. I know a whole bunch of stuff that I shouldn't know, but I... Yeah. It's a good show. Yo, I Mark, D went to the premiere in New York. I know. I see, if you guys were checking out the critics' pages or checking out Mark D's personal page, he was at the premiere in yeah. New York. He saw 50 Cent and all those guys performing. It was a like bunch a of celebrities. Cameos. It was a, it was a festive evening. Um, and then some content. At Madison Square Garden, nonetheless. Madison Square Garden. He's, he got to see the first episode before everyone. And for what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing, people are like, yo, that first yeah. episode... I'm kind of nervous cause, because I'm very connected with these characters. I like them. And from what I heard in last season, uh, it's probably going to be a hell of a ride. And this is the last the last season. This is the end before they do Ooh. their spinoff. Um, Wait, who's getting a spinoff? We don't know. We okay. won't know till it's over. Okay. I have a theory of what's going to happen in this, series, in this season. And I haven't even seen season five. But just watching the show, mm -hmm. I kind of have a feeling that either Tommy's going to die... Or Tommy will turn on Ghost. Yeah, I. And you know, that means I, nothing I to you. Well, no, I know. I watched the first season and a little bit of the second season. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't watched it since. It yeah. does mean something to me. Yeah. But damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I just. I'm excited for it. I'm just not gonna watch it right now. I'm gonna watch yeah. it probably years from now when you know it's readily available for my uh, consumption. Yeah, and this is the type of show where like no one's safe. People die. Game of Thrones. Like, oh, mama. yeah. I'm talking like your favorite. Game of Thrones your favorites, with your mama. Your favorite's favorites are just gone. So yeah. we'll see what happens. Clep, that's all the show I have for the Woo! critics this week. I love it. So if you do me the favor and leave them with a little something. As always, guys, critics talk. We just want to make sure that you guys wake up, be passionate, create, and repeat. We are out.